It's our third day in Singapore and today we decided to visit Singapore Botanic Gardens. But first things first, we need to have breakfast to have some strength to walk around the park. We're here at Casa Verde. It's a small little cafe right in the botanical gardens. It has a pretty extensive menu, lots of Western options, but we decided to go with something that we definitely won't try at home. We have some really delicious looking Singaporean breakfast options. So for Jack's, we got a nasi lemak, which was $12.50. And it's a pretty complex dish. It has some fried chicken, some beef rendang, sunny side up egg, coconut rice, fresh cucumber, uh, peanuts and uh, anchovies. Originally it comes with sambal sauce, which is a spicy chili sauce. We decided to omit it uh, as Jax has shellfish allergy. For myself, I got a soup. It's called laksa. It's a true Malaysian style soup. It has some noodles, some shrimp, um, some boiled eggs, salted soybean, some bean sprouts and dried bean curd. So it's quite uh, hearty. And uh, Jax's meal came with an option of a soybean uh, milk or a soybean curd. So we got this jiggly dessert. And all this came down to $22 including tax because it's a grab and go kind of spot. No need to tip. So it's pretty, it's pretty decent. Let's give it a try. I'm just finishing up my uh, laksa and it's delicious. So flavorful, so complex, very warm. Not that I really needed a soup in this humidity. Humidity is out of control, but it was definitely worth a try. Now we're gonna move on to this uh, very funky looking dessert. Oh, it's actually warm. So it's a soybean curd. You. <laughs> it's my time to be on camera eating some something. Okay. You like? It's so great. Really? Yeah. What's so great about it? You no, know, there's nothing great about it. It's just it's, a, it's decent. You have it again? I think I'm gonna finish it. I think I'm gonna finish it. No, I don't think I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> exactly. Just because I'm full, but it's not bad. Oh, I'm glad. It's not very, it's not very sweet. No, it's like dirty water. It's like what? Dirty water. A dirty water? I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> Singapore Botanics Garden is the most popular park. It's been around for over 150 years and in 2012 it was added to UNESCO Heritage Site. The best part is that it's open to everyone for free and it operates 7 days a week from 5 a.m. till midnight. The only part of the park that has a $5 admission is the Orchid Gardens. It is also called Celebrity Orchid Gardens as many of the plants are named after famous people.
no words or pictures can describe how beautiful it is inside. So many different kinds of orchids. The VIP orchid uh, garden was specifically very amazing. Just so much to see. So if you're ever at Singapore Gardens, this is definitely a place to check out.